Hey y'all, today we are doing a little bit of a challenge. I wanted to use very minimal products, five to be exact. I wanted to use five products for the whole face. And I pretty much did that at the end. It gets a little sidetracked. I cheat just a little bit. I forgot about something and then something else just did not work. <laughs> So, but predominantly the whole face is five products and I used six tools. Um, sponge and I had five brushes and really you don't even need that many. But if you are new to my channel, hi, I hope you stick around. And I have a normal skin type. It's not really oily, it's not really dry. And uh, we're not really using any new products today so I don't have to go into any detail there. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. I really want to get back to old YouTube tutorials, how to's, just the learning part of it and using what you have. Like I want us all to utilize the products that we have sitting right in front of us and not so much new, new, new. So I hope you guys subscribe and enjoy this. And if you want to see how I achieve this look with very minimal product, then let's hop in. Okay, our first product is going to be our foundation and concealer. I'm gonna use it for both. We're gonna use the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. I chose this one because I wanted something matte, but not overly matte to where I didn't have to set it, but not one that's gonna look dry or cakey or, you know, all that not so great stuff. So that's what we're using. This is in the shade Sand. And I'm gonna put that on the back of my hand and we are going to use a Real Technique sponge to blend that out. No, hold that thought. The first product we're gonna use is a primer. This is the VDL Lumi Layer Primer. I'm just going to put that on with my hands. Oh, I almost forgot that. And I chose this product and I mean, a lot of the products that I'm using because I can use them for multiple purposes. So this one we're going to use as a primer, but we're also going to use it as our highlighter. And I love this product. I absolutely love it. And this is glowy, so underneath of our matte foundation, it's going to make it just look more realistic, more skin-like, not so matte. Okay, now we are going to go in with the foundation. <sighs> Glad I didn't start putting the foundation on before I remembered that. And if you even wanted to shear this out, because um, I'm using a sponge, of course, but if you wanted to shear it out, all you have to do is mix it with the primer and I think it looks stunning. You guys know I'm not the biggest fan of matte foundations, but this one I actually really, really like. I'm not doing too much. I still want it to look fresh. Um, it's still super, super sunny here and hot. So I'm not quite yet into the fall makeup. So I still want it to just be fresh and pretty makeup. But I just want to start doing more with the products that I have. And you guys know I love reviewing products. Like I absolutely love it. I love new products. But you know, we all can't afford to buy new makeup every week. So I want to start using the things that I have and I want to start doing more tutorials. I don't know. I I kind of want to bring it back to old YouTube, you know, where it was about learning about makeup and still review based, but not so review based. I know some people are not going to like that and I'm still going to do reviews and new products, but I definitely want to use what I have. I have so much makeup that I use once and then it sits there for months and months and months. So that's not what I want to do. So I'm going to grab the other end of the sponge and we are going to use this as concealer. So I'm just going to tap it on. Also going to put it over the eyelid. 
just as I would regular concealer. So we have foundation and concealer on. I'm going to go in with the highlight. All I do with this is I do a couple little dots on my hand. And I always use the Real Techniques contour brush. And I kind of dip it in the dot. Kind of get a little bit of the excess off on my hand. And then I just start to tap it. By gently tapping, you're not going to remove what is underneath. And this just looks so beautiful and so healthy. Of course, it's not going to be powdery because it is a liquid and it just looks so natural. Like, I love this. It's kind of like the ultimate glowing from within product. I love it. Like, no joke, this is one of my favorite products of all time, I think. I'm also going to put a little bit of that on the Cupid's bow. And then we're gonna go in with powder. I chose this. This is the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Powder. It's a little bit lighter and I want to kind of make that under eye lighter than my foundation. Plus it, it doesn't, it adds a little bit of coverage, but it doesn't look heavy at all. I just really, really like it. Hide your pores really, really well. And if you are one that needs to set the T-zone, go ahead and do that. I am going to set my nose. Now for our bronzer, we are going to make a multi-purpose use out of this palette. This is ColourPop X's and O's. I've used this a couple of times. I like it. Um, so we're going to get brows, eyeshadow, and bronzer out of this. So... I'm gonna grab a small brush here. You could definitely use this to set your eyes, but I use this specifically for bronzer, so it has some dark pigment on it. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this shade right here and this shade, nope. Yes, 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 yes. So I'm gonna take this shade right here and this shade up here and mix them together to make a custom bronzer. Now, what I will say, is if you are using shadows, eyeshadows for face colors, you have to be kind of careful because normally they're much more pigmented. So I'm just gonna tap my brush off a little bit here and then start to gently put that on the cheeks. I am not going in with much pressure at all and then just kind of blending it around. And then I'm just going to build it up as much as I feel is necessary. But just remember, light, light pressure. If you really start looking and like if you need to use shadows as blush or bronzer or whatever it may be, like you have, I'm sure, at least a couple of eyeshadow palettes that's the whole thing. You don't have to use anything for its intended purpose. Powder is powder. For blush, we are going to use our lipstick. This is so, so neat. And this is one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. So this is Maybelline 060 Chocolate Lust. I am going to put some on my hand there. I'm gonna grab our sponge. Pick some up on it. Well, I need a mirror. And then gently start tapping that into our cheek. And this is also going to bring so much life into our cheeks. This leaves a... It has a sheen, like almost like a a glowy finish. It's just beautiful. And the thing is, if you were in a spot, this or that, you don't even have to have blush. Use um, just your bronzer or skip it. That's the whole thing. You guys know I go without blush all the time. All the time. But in so many palettes, there's tons of colors that can be used like blush. 
but just for this video and this purpose and for you know curiosity because I wanted to know if this would work um, I'm pretty much loving this lipstick as blush this just looks youthful and beautiful like wow 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 I love this for our shadow, I just want something simple, not anything out of the box, just really, really simple. So I am going to grab Fortunate, which is one of the shades that we mixed for our a bronzer. If I could think, it would be great. And I'm just gonna kind of pat it and run it into the crease. Keeping it, oh shoot. I'm oh, almost messed that up, but I'm keeping it kind of low at first because these shades are pigmented. And then I'm gonna grab a little bit of Issues right here, just to blend out that shade a bit more. Kind of just quick, minimal effort here is what we're doing. But it's gonna look like we actually used a lot of products, took our time. All right, um, I think I'm gonna go in with Rookie right here. I'm gonna take that on my finger. I don't want to, like, I don't want anything too over the top. So that's what, ooh, okay. That has like blue or purple glitter in it. I. Did not expect that. Okay, it works. All right, phone's ringing. I'm going to do this eye and then I'll be right back. Okay, so one product that I totally forgot was mascara. Um, I, I wear lashes predominantly all the time. Anytime I have on makeup, 98% of the time. So technically you'd have to throw in mascara, but I use lashes, but yes. Everyone needs a little mascara or lashes. So, this brush right here, double-ended, I ran a little bit of the shade we put on our crease underneath, very, very little bit. I'm gonna switch it around, and I'm going to try to take this shade right here and use it for the brows. It may be too warm, they don't really have a neutral brown in there, but I don't plan on doing too much with the brows anyway. I just wanna lightly fill in. Okay, that's that's not working for us. I'm gonna go to the shade next door here. This one's too purple. Too purple, I'm sure. So when you're picking your palette, just pick one that has um, an eyebrow shade that will work for you. Yep. Nope. Nope. Neither one of those two guys are working. Great. I'm gonna have a red eyebrow. That's wonderful. Darn it. Well, I'm screwed on the eyebrows, you guys. I'm screwed. So, I'm sorry we have to cheat a little bit. I totally forgot about the mascara, but... I'm gonna throw in an eyebrow pencil. Had I picked a different palette, like this one right here, it would've worked for eyes, bronzer, and I definitely could've mixed these even and done the brows. So, if you are using these like this, kind of multi-purpose, just pick one with a good neutral brown or whatever color your, um, freaking brows are. I'm telling you, I'm so flustered now. Okay, so I'm just going to lightly, lightly fill in the sparse areas that I have on my brow. I guess where I put the powder right there, it did not want to go over that. I, 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 I don't know. So let's throw on some lip here. Same one we used earlier for our blush. Man, I just, I love this. It's so 
moisturizing and I don't want it to be full color so I am going to use my finger. I love the formula of these and the colors are beautiful. So moisturizing like I love 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 these. I love the shiny look so I really like the way everything turned out. Just really simple, really easy, using what you have and making it work. That is what this video is all about. You don't have to have a thousand products sitting in front of you like I do to get a beautiful full face of makeup. Given the brows didn't work, so technically I did use a brow pencil and um, you would have to use mascara. I used lashes, I still use a little bit of mascara, but that one's kind of a given. Everyone has, you know, mascara. I don't know anyone that doesn't use mascara. So I'm sorry, I cheated a little bit there. I know I hate when I see other people do that, but for some reason it just, boop, it slipped my mind. But I mean, look at the face. It looks so good and so luminous and just skin-like. I love it. I really do. Like, I'm shocked it turned out this good. I really do like it. So, we used five main products, and then where I cheated a little, and then these are the tools that I used. I still only used one, two, three, four, five, six tools. Sponge, I use this for bronzer, and the thing is, you could use this for blush, bronzer, highlight. Like, you don't have to have three of these. Two eye brushes, I predominantly used one. Planned on using this double-ended Eco Tools brush for my eyebrows and the lid. And I mean, we have our fingers too. Don't forget about those. So, very minimal products, minimal effort. You guys know that's how I like it sometimes. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I plan on doing a lot of different kind of like challenges or tutorials, how-tos. I just want to switch up my channel a little bit, use what I've got. Of course, I'm still going to review new products, of course. I love that. But I want to start using what I have because I think that is realistic for you guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any um, requests, I know I have a list of things I want to do, but if there's anything you guys want to see, let me know. Pop it down below and thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you subscribe and like this video and hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys.